all right so let's continue with the api and in this video the agenda here is i have not initialized the git so let me do that first and so let's minimize the terminal a little bit and just load because wsl takes time to sync up the changes so yeah now we have pg data the docker generated like i said in the previous video in the git ignore so it won't commit the changes this folder could be pretty long you will see so let's go to router and let's write a first route so inside this let's write get slash and uh, the router will be slash uh, ping which will be fixed by the scope which is slash api right and the controller will be first we will be dealing with post we will go for the authentication part later on because uh, that's a bit complicated but uh, since we are new to this we will first deal with the crud part and then as we develop the habit of coding in functional programming world and elixir and things then we will move on to much more advanced stuff like authentication hashing password and all that so first let's write the basic apis for posts and we will link them with the users later on so yeah so but first let's focus on the ping api so get ping right and uh, we need to pass the controller here so let's write that into post controller which will create in a second post controller and post controller yeah i spelled it correctly and the method that to that needs to be fired when this api is hit it shall be ping it shall be named ping and yeah so and this uh, colon ping means that it's just an atom uh, atom uh, of course uh, most of you should know about the basics of elixir right so that was the prerequisite of this, of this course but uh, anything related to phoenix i will try to explain uh, in detail and so all you have to do is just uh, you know just was watch a one hour or one and a half hour crash course on elixir and there's a pretty much uh, good crowd of teachers doing that you 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 just search elixir crash course and you will get the video I think Derek Benes, I learned from there, I started from there. Yeah, you can start from there. And so, this is the ping route and it will be saying that uh, uh, undefined and yeah. So, this controller does not exist. And uh, also this, uh, this is shorthand. Uh, but basically, you know what is this? This is the get method and it's ta uh, taking three arguments. So, if we can, you know, if we can do this get post controller and ping both of them are the same thing what it's doing is just shorthand for uh, avoiding curly uh, braces and all that so enough of that let's go to our exs.web inside controllers folder uh, let's write uh, let's write what post controller so let's write post underscore controller and this naming convention matters i'll tell you why so post controller inside we are in the web context right so let's add a module ex uh, rest i think let's let's ex rest let's see what naming convention our project is using so it's a simple ex rest capitalized no Pascal of families. Cool. Let's write exist web dot uh, our module's name, which will be host controller and do. And now we need to write our ping method. Ping. And this method, when the API is fired, will receive our connection and the params, which will be the request body, JSON request body, which we won't have any since it's a get request and whatever. So this needs to return the connection. We can simply do the connection return from here, but that doesn't make sense, right? You just take the connection uh, and you return the connection. You don't do anything, right? No response, no whatever. So for that, for responding uh, gracefully, uh, positively, we need to, it's just loading, it will come up. We need to write a view, a JSON view. So let's go to views folder. You see, it has already generated some error views. So, so write a, own view post underscore view and this naming convention would matter 
because for the phoenix to find the post controllers view automatically it needs to be post underscore view so that's what i wrote right here so let's write that so dev module ex rest web dot post view do do and this will have the render method oh i forgot um, quite a lot of important things so we need to write ex rest web and use it as a view so we need to write the this statement so this would depict that all the module all the functionalities this module supports will be related to the view so same thing we need to write the controller so controller inside the post controller cool let's format it i should learn the so shortcut so shift alt f and why did it not yeah go to post uh, what's the problem oh i misspelled it let's go to post view and of course this will be crashing because i misspelled this and now it will be crashing with a different error which would say that every view should have the render method so render and this would be the json name json view name which will be uh, which will you know be fired from the get uh, request of ping so whenever we request uh, whenever we, we receive this request we need to uh, send the json right so what view do we want to pass yeah, so let's write the view first so i'm just passing the connection using the pipe symbol uh, to the render method and the view name will be ack.json ack.json acknowledge.json same thing so the body shall be success true and the message of form cool and this pipe symbol means that uh, this render method takes the connection as a first argument but we can uh, stylishly pass the first argument into the elixir that uh, with the pipe symbol this is what pipe symbol and this just means this so if we remove this and this just mean this whatever we wrote in the pipe symbol and of course the last line of the function or method in elixir is the return statement and the render method after tampering with the connection and populating it with the json response or whatever it returns the connection which will eventually returns the connection from this method so that's that and let's go to our view and our view name shall be ack.json which we fired from the controller and we pattern match the params or body so we will we will receive success which we want to pattern match as success variable which will be pass to the final response and we will also receive message so let's pattern match that as a message and let's uh, return the success payload with the success value which we received and a message for my document and we can do one more thing here let's delete this let's do the single line return comma do colon and format come on and this will work just fine this is a single line return why this error uh, array is here uh, we need curly this is <coughs> yeah so this should work let it load Oh God! Zoom. Yeah, yeah, I think it's still loading. There's no error here, which I can see. Yeah, it's still loading. Let it load and go to router, post controller. So yeah, yes, no errors. Let's start the server. Let's PHX. Start server. And starting. Let's go to our postman. So I'm in a blank postman account and let's create a first request 
so if you have not created any APIs before uh, which you should have strictly speaking but uh, this is a get request right and our server is running on 4000 port localhost so HTTP I mean we can use the same address here but it just says localhost 4000 down here so let's do that let me just call it mode zoom that is fine and our route will be api slash ping and this is coming from the scope of the route is slash api and the route is slash ping so we fire this we receive success to and pong which was intended for this video let's save that control as and i'm gonna just uh, pretend that I didn't say what you think I said so let's save the route as ping and let's create a collection and the collection name shall be <coughs> our project name and save it inside this and now we will have a workspace of ping and we can hit again and we'll have ping and Phoenix will log that the send slash pay slash whatever and uh, 200 and the time it took so yeah so that's that and yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we shall look at uh, we should we, 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 will, we will be starting with the post schema and genetic posts and uh, validating the post input and create post and all that so yeah that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one